Have you ever think about what is the reason and what is the purpose that you exist in this earth? Why the universal God creates you as a human, as an individual being, be able to experience this life and you only got one life to live? Why? Back in the days, these kind of questions didn't even exist in my mind. What is the reason and the, and the purpose that the universe creates me? Put me into this earth and let me enjoy this kind of life. Since the day go by and then when I read books and understand the minds and start to meditate, start to silence myself from all the noises from the social media, from the news, from the apps, from the people around me. And this question pops up in my mind. What is the reason that I exist in this earth? Why am I alive? Why am I enjoying all this kind of thing, all this sensation, all this sound, all the circumstance that appears in my life, all the experience, all the feeling? Why am I experiencing this? Why the universe, the creator of the universe, creates me? Let me experience this. So I think, well, if the universe let me exist in this earth, for sure, there's something that he want me to do. There's the purpose, there's a mission that I must achieve, that I must do, the thing that I must do, by using the life that the universe gave me. Guys, think about this. If there's no mission or purpose that the universe wants you to do in this earth, why it let you exist? At the first place, if the universe didn't have the mission or the purpose for you, it will just let you vanish. It will just don't let you exist from the start. You will just feel nothing. You won't feel anything. You don't even have the feeling of the dark or the light. Anything. You will just won't feel anything, right? You won't even have the consciousness to realize that whether you are dying or you are living or you, have, you can feel cold, or you can feel hot, you won't even feel any single of this if the universe don't let you exist, right? So I think for sure there's a mission that the gods or the mothers of nature they want us to do in our lifetime, in our limited lifetime, yes. Is that the limited life for us, for our life? And then we gotta use our life, use our limited lifetime to fulfill the mission, to fulfill the purpose so that we can get is the feeling or fulfillment or the gift at the end that we're gonna get if we do the mission. I think the feeling or the gift that the universe wants us to taste, wants us to feel is the feeling of knowledge, the wisdom, The universe want, want us to gain wisdom with the experience that we have in this life by going through the downside or the upside by going through obstacles how we deal with problems with life and then through that we become stronger and we gain wisdom and even though we die we will bring the wisdom back to the home of the universe or the main center of the universe and then all of the wisdom peoples or the wisdom soul are gathered over there and then we are helping the universe to fulfill the mission that they want us to achieve I know this may sound crazy to you or you may not even know what I'm talking about but do you think that the universe created this life for you just to live it like the 90% of people? Go to school, get a good grade, get a good job, and then work 8 or 10 hours a day for 30, 40 years, and then retire. Oh, yeah, and then build a family, retire with a pension, and then die. Do you think that this is the purpose or the mission that the universe created us and live like this way? Or on the other hand, maybe the universe got a more bigger go waiting for you to achieve waiting for you to accomplish what if the lifestyle of the 90% of people that you see they are all just the NPC they are like the 
robots you won't even know whether they are real or not maybe they are just the imagination that the universe casts to you to train you it's a training ground for you how do you know we are all the people they see including you all other creatures of the universe you won't even know whether it's true or fact the only real thing that you can feel that you can 100% assure is the feeling is the consciousness that yourself you're feeling it right now I can feel that I'm talking right now I'm talking to you yeah of course you're a person but I don't know whether you are got the same consciousness as me or you are just the universe created to watch my video I can't assure that because I cannot feel you I can only feel myself so if you can feel yourself you know you are a cis in this earth you are not an AI you are not a robot you're gonna start thinking what is the reason that God put you in this earth did God put you in this earth to let you just go past your days by watching porn joking off playing video games and then having parties drinking beers with your friends smoking vaping having the instant gratification scoring the phone watching the dramas being cheating and then make your body and mental health broke and then let yourself suffering and then you start to blame this role, blame this person, blame your school, blame your boss do you think universe want you to live like this way? of course not there's a wisdom the universe waiting for us to get to achieve so that we won't feel so hateful, so resentful about the things that happen since our life so how do we get the wisdom? we must live by principles the principles of the righteousness we must do right thing we must plant right kind of thoughts in our mind and then we will do the right kind of actions with the right kind of actions that the universe will reward us with good results and through that we will be growing more stronger no matter is our mental or physical health so when we are getting stronger by doing the right things for the rest of our life we will gain the wisdom so for example what is the right thing what is the right kind of thoughts that we must plant into our mind every single day gratitude we must live and appreciate currently everything that we have in our life I love my families they are still with me I still able to put food on the table I still will to talk to you I got the internet usage I can access to the information all around the world I got a PC I got a phone to use and I feel grateful so with this kind of positive thoughts you have the positive emotion planted in your mind so you carry out the good actions so with the good actions you'll do good things you'll feel energetic to do the hard things and then people will be benefit from the things that you do and through that by helping people that need help you gain fulfillment you gain a sense of pleasure you feel wow this feeling is so amazing i'm able to help people people's life are changing because of help and then you will feel your life is so meaningful right so for me i think the main reason that many of the people nowadays are not satisfied with their life feeling resentful hateful is because they didn't realize the truth of the universe how can they search happiness and feel fulfilled if they didn't plan the good thoughts in their mind if they always plan the negative thoughts in their minds when they wake up they just scroll on their phone on the instagram the news seeing people live and then compare their life to themselves or oh, this person with a good cause with a high salary than me and then I feel like a loser when you feel like a loser you won't have any motivation to do the things in life you won't appreciate everything that you currently have and then you won't even got the mind to help others because you feel like you didn't got the ability to help others 
because you didn't got the enough resources. So if you can help others, no matter in financial or physically, you can get the sense of meaning, a sense of fulfillment. Do you want to live like this way? Let me tell you, my friends. You got more powerful. You got more power than you think. Our minds tends to limit ourselves because we are so used to do the easy things. When we try to do the hard things, our mind will tell us, "Don't do that. You won't deserve to do that. You don't got the ability. You don't have the skill to do that." So you can't achieve anything in life. You just live like the ninety percent of people because you cannot shut down the voice that try to bring you down. One thing you can know that good things in life takes passion, takes hard work, and takes your dedication, because this is the law of the universe. The universe will see whether this person is qualified to have the gift, no matter it's financial or the wisdom. There's a price that you must pay if you want to gain those things. If you expect that you can just live as you wish, doing all those low-level behaviors and get the great gift from the universe, my friends, you're living in ignorance. We live in the games of the universe. We must obey to the rules of the universe. You can't change the rule. If you follow the rules of the universe, you can get it. If you disobey it, you get shit results, and sadly, ninety percent of people are disobey the rules of the universe. We always want fast result, instant gratification. We want this kind of wealth, this kind of success, in the blink of eye. Because if we get it fast, we won't appreciate it. We won't have the power to maintain it. Our character are still not able to hold the possession of the universe. Our character are still weak. We didn't got the patience, we didn't got the skills, and we didn't have the experience to hold those possession. If we want things happen fast, we don't have the character to enjoy the gift, because our mind, our skill are still in the baby state. So hard work is must. Hard times in life is the things that every one of us will face, and must face. In this life, in this universe, if you want to gain good things from it, we must use those hard times as our training ground. Don't see it as bad things. The hard times, the things you hate to do, the shit experience, all these things make us grow, make us stronger, so that we are able to got the passion, got the experience to tackle the next challenge. If we defeated in this challenge. We didn't get back up from this challenge. We weren't able to tackle the next challenge, and if we didn't able to tackle the next challenge, we weren't able to enjoy the fruit at the top. We are deserve to live below here, if we choose to stay down here, and don't take the challenge. This is the rules of the game. So, tell me, why is the person, why is the character they want to build in this game of life? Do you want to be the person? Who is broke? Who is unmotivated? Who is resentful? Or you want to be a character that's at the top, that's got this many resources that you are able to help people, and you got the free time, you got the freedom to gain the knowledge. What are the experience they want to taste when the game of life is over? The experience of sadness, sorrow, or regret, or the experience of happiness, love, compassion. And die in peace. It's all up to you to realize that there's a mission, there's a purpose that God's put you in this earth. What you're gonna do is just do the hard work, listen to the mission, listen to the purpose, achieve the goal, achieve the purpose, and you can able to get the great possession that life is waiting to give you. It's all on you. It's all on your choice. I believe you can do it. And I believe I can do it. That's all I want to share with you guys today. Is you only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough. See you on the next video.